it's time for some bass smashing action. So where do we start? Daddy, look at Are they rivets or are they screws? Daddy, look. Screws. Okay, bud. Just put it Yuck, throw it in the garbage. It's broke ground. Yes. And with this, so begins the process. I'm probably gonna go start working on this. We have water stuck in there. I should be able to clean that plug out of the bottom and see if it drains out. Start cleaning some of this gunk out. So that's step one. We're just gonna strip as much carpet and covers as possible. Try to get rid of this standing water and just give it like the initial wipe down. See where we're at. Ugh. <laughs> I almost just fell. That's what we're working with here. Look at that. Yeah. That's hideous. Oh my gosh. So there's a door. That's vile. So we got about one layer off here. The whole thing is completely rotten, so no surprise there. This whole front deck will need to get rebuilt somehow. Um, when you get up here, let's try to pull this fiberglass off, but leave this wood underneath if it stays so we can see how it's attached. So we're just going to keep getting rid of this carpet. We got rid of some of the electrical stuff, not a lot. We got this back all cleaned out. We got the water out of the bottom. Once I unplug that hole, about 30 gallons came out or something ridiculous. All right, so we're to the point now where we got a majority of the carpet out. The electrical stuff is just kind of hanging there. That's a mess. I gotta try to dig back here and clean this a little bit. And Vaughn just popped a big chunk of wood off of this frame that was built. And we weren't sure, but it looks like this was previously a fiberglass deck that somebody Looks like they cut that out with a handsaw or something. Or maybe they used a jigsaw, I don't know. But, so this is fiberglass, it's just kind of hanging here. And I don't know if this boat's been worked on in the past or if that was, if it was manufactured that way and they left it overhang like that. I'm gonna guess that somebody else did some work on this, but I have no idea. So we're gonna keep ripping all this wood out here because it's completely rotten. It's, I mean, it's just falling apart. All these batteries and stuff are coming out. Leave, let's go ahead and leave the frame just so we can look at it when we draw up the whatever the next one is going to be. And then we're going to rip this top layer of fiberglass crap off. This is just, it's not part of the actual, this is the actual frame right here. You can see it's like solid fiberglass. This is, it's on a mesh. It's like the stuff that they I think they paste it on. They mix it, they paste it on a mesh and then they put it down. Maybe we'll play with that when we cover up the wood in here. Uh, I have no idea, but it's all coming out for now. So I just wanted to point that out. This is about a 30-year-old boat, I think. I don't know if this has been worked on in the past, and we're the second people to go at it, or if it was like that when it came off to wherever they manufactured it. So, so that's about the end of day one here. We're going to start cleaning up. We got the top layer completely out of it. Got the old batteries out. We got the old gas tanks out. We're getting rid of all the stuff. We might keep the plastic cases for the batteries because those can be cleaned. This is all fiberglass and rotten wood. Um, we got the trolling motor off. This stuff should all be good to stay in here. I got to crawl under there at some point. This is all coming out. There's nails all over this. But it looks like they built this frame. I don't know if this is treated lumber or not. Don't think so. But it's all coming out. We'll run some new PVC so we can... This is for the battery, I guess. I don't know if they ran some up the other side or if they just went straight up underneath the bottom. Probably straight underneath the bottom. Um, but we're going to have to figure this out. Figure out how to do electrical. See if the motors work at some point. Um, I only stabbed myself once. So that was good, marry a nurse. And all this stuff came out from underneath the deck or in storage. Here's, you know, this guy was in there. That's a bonus. 
old prop um, live well probably gonna reuse that if we can it's loaded with crap uh, we pulled off the quote-unquote electronics this is the whole like control panel I have no idea what I'm looking at here so we're just leaving that set aside but the top layer of this is all like the main fiberglass and then there was this top layer of fiberglass that was all over everything a lot of that came up so we're just gonna start cleaning up for the day once this kind of air dries a little bit in here I'm gonna go through with the shop vac uh, brush a bunch of the crap out then we'll go at it round two get all this foam out probably next probably want to do that outside because that's gonna be a nightmare and we're gonna get some pictures of the frame so we know how it's built I think the floor is like three-quarter inch or one inch plywood with that layer of that fiberglass crap over it I don't know how we're gonna cut that out but we're gonna figure it all out as we go so anyway that's about the end of day one is there anything you want to add no nope. no nope. <laughs> covered in dirt it's a mess so we'll see you guys in the next one thanks Bass smash in action. Bass smash in action. It's a giant. I actually did see a three pounder over here swimming around. Did you? Yeah, so they've moved. They're actually back over where we've seen them in the past.